Hello, this is John from DesireFanatics.com. Today I'm going to be showing you Guns and Glory on Android. Guns and Glory is a tower defense style game. Um, you take control of bandits, as you see here, and you, your aim is to stop the sort of good guys getting through and telling the sheriff about your whereabouts. It starts off quite simple. Let's go for the second level because um, we don't want to go through the tutorial. So here you see the um, level map which is scrollable, so it's not just one screen that you're stuck on constantly. Um, the other controls you have up at the top here, the pause button. This is how much money you have to buy towers. Yeah. Is your sheriff badge, so as soon as that reaches zero, the sheriff is notified and that's the end of the game, basically. So that is like your life counter. Up here is the wave number that you're on, so the right shows you how many waves in total and the left shows you what wave you're currently on and in the top here you have a mini map which helps you scroll around a bit quicker and see where things are. So let's get started. You see here um, these arrows at the top here are showing you where the people are going to come in from. So on this level for example there are two entry points here and over here. Now your towers um, in this game are actually bandits like I said earlier and as you can see here, we have some bandits shooting these people as they're coming past, which is great. Further around the level, you can see um, other bandits which you can hire uh, to help you help your cause, basically. Um, so you just need enough money to be able to hire them, and they will give you a hand in killing these people and stopping them through, getting through. So, as you can see, as I haven't bought anyone yet, I'm, I'm losing points here. So I really do need to purchase a bandito to help me out here. This man here, with the lighter coloured hat, he is a sort of TNT destruction expert. So if we hire him, he can throw bombs and TNT at the enemy. So as you can see, each tower is movable. You don't have to have it in one single place like in most tower defence games. If I want to move this man across this bridge, I can do so by dragging him across like this. So they're completely repositionable, which is great because often you find yourself, you've placed a tower somewhere and then you can't actually you know, hit people or it's in the wrong place or something and then you have to sell it and do other things. So that's quite a good good little feature. So the other tower, if you want to call it, on this level is a Desperado. Now this man, he just has a pistol. He's a cheaper price um, because he's obviously less powerful but we'll, we'll hire him anyway because he has a better range. So if I put him down here Okay, I'm just going to start another level now, just to show you what the harder levels look like in the game. You see this map of America here, these are the different stages, and in each stage there is a sort of trail of levels that you, you go through and complete. On this one you start off with um, cannons here. The first bit of this level is just getting bonus points. So if we just pick up these crates, you'll see these are a lot more powerful than the previous towers. Um, which is great because this is going to be a harder level. I'm not sure why they're taking so long to die, so let's hire one of these bad boys here. Now the controls can be a bit fiddly. Um, sometimes when you're selecting someone you might select the person next to them and it's quite hard to sort of pinpoint um, the, the person you're trying to get to. But I suppose weighing the pros and cons, it's it's more fun than it is, you know, annoying. Okay, so this is the free version of the game. As you can tell by these uh, adverts popped up down here, um, you can't complain really because, um, well, I suppose you can complain because a lot of people do complain about adverts. But the developer is offering this completely full game for free, which I think is pretty amazing. Um, you know, if I'd just worked, you know, months and months on something and gave it away for free, I'd want something back. So even if you only do it a couple of times, click on an advert and just support the developer because these developers need money or they won't be able to buy beer. As you can see, I'm about to fail rather miserably on this level. Um, let's see if we can move someone over here a second. Mm. 
<clears throat> See if we can stop these bad boys coming through. Okay, so now the people are coming in from the left hand side of the map. So we can rearrange our towers and get them in the optimum position. You see down here, this is how long until the next wave starts. So if we just move this bad, this cannon back. There we go. You can also hire natives uh, who help drive out the whites invaders. I'm not sure whether they're racist or not, but uh, they're quite good. They fire their bows with um, flames attached to them and they set the people on fire, which is always good fun. So yes, this is um, Guns and Glory for Android. Um, if you have any comments or questions, let me know and I'll try and answer them for you. But um, give it a download, give it a try, see if you like it. You may not like the style of gameplay, but um, I think it's quite good. And um, be sure to check out desirefanatic.com for news and reviews. Mm -hmm.